Hello and welcome my dear second standard students. How are you all? This is Rohan sir from Mehdi English Medium School. Now as you all know that I have welcomed you back in the English lecture because your English test, internal test is over. And I know that you are eagerly waiting for the results for the paper you have appeared. But you will get the results within a while time because you will have uh, to wait for the teachers to correct it and the marks to enter and you are going to get definitely the good result if you have appeared for this exam with your full preparation and moreover the best thing about this internal test was that you did not have to learn anything new you already have done everything in the revision before the vacation itself so i suppose that this exam should not be a headache for you in in fact it is a kind of opportunity for you to score good marks and to correct the mistakes to modify the things you have done in the previous homework which you were given in diwali so my dear little gems i welcome you back in the english lecture today yes we have done a whole lot of revision work now you will say that sir one more time revision no it is of no use so today let's see what are we going to do in this lecture so what are we going to do is start the new lesson yes and the name of the lesson is easier said than done so do you even know what this line means easier said than done so what does this heading means first of all as you know i have the habit of discussing about the heading unless you don't know what the heading means how will you be able to understand the lesson so anyways let me discuss the agenda for this lesson first of all i have prepared is first of all i am going to read and make you underline the hard words in first lecture and then slowly we will start with the explanation part now why am i going going to do this way is as you know that as soon as i start explaining you the lesson few words are such that you are not familiar with so what happens suddenly a heavy word comes in front of your eyes and then it becomes a headache to understand to learn the pronunciation and to understand the lesson so what am i going to do is first of all i'm going to give you the objectives that is hard words meanings and give one word so these three things i'll going to give it to you and then i will start with the explanation part so now i hope that you all are ready with your textbook yes 90% of the student i know now they have the textbook of english if even you don't have what will you do is you can just note down the hard words i am going to underline or i'm going to highlight today to give you the hard words so you can just note it down in your rough notebook that will also do because ultimately you you will have to write down the hard words in your fair book but not now either you can underline in your textbook like i am going to do on the screen or what you can do is you can write it down in your rough notebook only when i ask you to write it down in the fair book you will write it down so till then you will have to wait for me wait for my instruction to be given so let's get started with the new lesson lesson number 6 so my dear little chums as you can see on the screen this is your textbook chapter number 6 easier said than done like i said that without explaining you the heading i'm not going to step forward in any way whether it is an explanation part or the objectives writing part so let me explain you what is the heading what this heading means first of all i want you to think about it easier said than done you might be knowing the meaning of easier you might be knowing the meaning of said than done so let me tell you t h a n then is always used for the comparison in the english or grammar t h a n then is always used for the comparison i am taller than my brother so there also you are going to use t h a n 
my mind is sharper than my friends again t h a n because you are comparing you yourself and with your friends so here it is said that easier said than done that simply means that you can simply say the things but it is hard to do so you can easily say something than to do it okay sometimes when you are watching the cricket you say oh this was an easy ball so you are speaking right so to speak is very easy but to do that job practically is not as easy as much as you speak so this is what this heading means that it is easily said then it is easily done so it is not easily actually done you can just easily say something then to do it so i hope now you know what it what it means what this heading means so let us see how this chapter is interesting and moreover this chapter is based on humor humor means i have already explained you in the previous poem animal storm humor means comedy funny so i hope that now you are ready with your textbooks please open chapter number 6 easier said than done if you have the textbook if you don't have the textbook please hold the pencil and the rough book in your hand obviously the new page and if you are writing in your rough notebook please make sure that you have to write the heading chapter number chapter name subject english and today's date yes these many things you will have to write if you are writing in the rough notebook compulsorily as you know that daily i insist you to send the homework to the follow up teachers so my dear little champs please give the heading if you are writing in the rough notebook subject english chapter number chapter name displayed on the screen and today's date so these many things you will have to write it down and also hard words as a heading you have to give it so i will wait for you to write down this heading and now those who are having the textbook they simply have to hold their pencil and move their pencil where i am reading in the textbook so that as soon as i ask you to underline particular word your pencil should be on that word only moving with my words now i hope you understood and i also request the parents who are sitting besides their children help them out for this instructions so let's get started first of all before drawing your attention towards the paragraphs or the lesson story i would like to solve this warm up exercise actually it is not the exercise it is just the information now what is it written on the screen do you do any of these things at home tick the ones you do so my dear students you have to just tick in the box if you are doing particular work shown in the picture i'd like to zoom in the picture one by one so do you arrange your clothes at home actually i do not do that so i am not going to put tick mark if you are doing so you can put tick mark the next is helping your mother in the kitchen yes actually your sir does this so i can put tick mark if you are doing it you can put tick mark or else you can put simply cross mark the next is making your bed do you do that yes i do at my home so i am going to put tick mark and the next thing is making your own bag arranging the bag as per the time table yes i do that so i am going to put the tick mark so this way you will also see the picture and put tick and cross mark in accordance of your work in which you do at your home correct so these are the four things here arranging the clothes then helping the mother helping your mother in the kitchen then making your own bed and your bag so these all things you should do at your home correct you should help your mother because the work the housework is not necessarily done by the 
by your mother or by the grandmother you also are the family member and you also are responsible for the things arranging things at your house so this is what i think and this is what the lesson means to say means to convey so let's get started let us read and underline the hard words so my dear students now i'm just going to read and highlight the hard words so that a second time when i read and explain you the hard words and the pronunciation is clear in your mind let's get started once upon a time there was a farmer named hans he lived in a village with his wife martha so please underline the word martha martha it is the first hard word as you can see that i am just drawing a box i am just putting a box to show you which is the hard word you can just underline it with your pencil in the textbook and now those who are writing in the rough notebook i hope they have given the heading hard words and are writing the words i am highlighting here hans always found fault with the way martha kept the house now martha was tired of hans complaints so she said one day i will go out to work in the fields tomorrow and you take care of the house hans was happy with this idea the next day he wanted to churn the butter first after churning it for some time he felt thirsty he went down to the cellar to get some apple juice so now here my dear students hard words are churn and the second hard word is cellar so these are the two hard words let us continue as soon as he opened the barrel he heard the barking of dog it was inside the house and seemed to have knocked over a pot hans rushed up the stairs to chase the animal out of the house now the next hard word is chase okay in his hurry he forgot to shut the barrel the barrel turned upside down and the juice spilled on the floor the next hard word is spilled i hope my dear students those who are writing in the rough notebook they are writing the hard words and those who are having the textbook they are underlining the hard words so next hans put the stew on the fire to boil for lunch suddenly he remembered that he had forgotten to feed moi the cow so the next hard word is moi it is a name of cow hans had at his place let us continue he took moi to the rooftop there there was grass growing among the tiles he tied one end of the rope around the cow's neck he slipped the other end down the chimney and tied it around his own leg this way he could remind himself of the cow on the rooftop so on the next page let us continue finding the hard words hans was now busy grinding the grains while he was working moi saw a hen on the roof it decided to chase the hen away moi ran after the hen in full speed meanwhile the rope tied to hans leg pulled him up the chimney okay the next hard word is chimney 
आई होप माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू आर राइटिंग द हार्ड वर्ड्स और अंडरलाइनिंग इट इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक बिकॉज दीज आर द फाइनल हार्ड वर्ड्स देर विल बी नो चेंज इन दिस हार्ड वर्ड्स ही कैप्ट हैंगिंग देर वाइल द काउ वॉज स्टिल रनिंग वाइल्डली ऑन द रूफ टॉप मार्था केम बैक एंड हर्ड द काउ मोइंग लाउडली शी रन अप एंड सेटल्ड मोई she also freed the rope around its neck as soon as did this she did this hans who was stuck in the chimney came crashing down the next hard word is crashing the next hard word is crashing i hope you have written my dear students he fell with his head into the hot stew when martha came inside the room she saw butter splashed around the juice was spilled on the cellar floor and her husband's head was in the stew she helped him out hans promised never to find fault in her work again and the last hard word is fault so my dear students i am going to repeat the hard words we have highlighted so that you can check your hard words once first hard word is martha number 1 hard word was martha m a r t h a martha then the second hard word the second hard word was chon c h u r n chon c h u r n chon number 3 hard word was cellar c e l l a r cellar c e l l a r cellar especially those who are writing in the rough notebook for them i am repeating these things so please make sure you also check your spellings number 4 hard word is chase c h a s e chase number 5 hard word is spilled s p i l l e d this is number 5th s p i l l e d spilled number 6th hard word is moi m o w i m o w i moi so number 7 hard word is chimney number 7 hard word is chimney c h i m n e y chimney number 8 hard word is crashing c r a s h i n g crashing and number 9th hard word is fault f a u l t fault so these are the nine hard words i hope that those who are writing in the rough notebook they got the sufficient time to note down the hard words if you were not able to write down the hard words within once you can watch the video lecture again to write it down as even i spelt all the hard words so my dear students now it's time to write down the meanings and give one word so please give the heading meanings now those who are having the textbook they can just tick mark they can just by forget in the textbook itself if you can see in your textbook the boxes are given in which meanings and given words both are mixed up now here i am going to by forget and write meanings first so if you want to just tick mark in your textbook you can just write m so can so that you can later understand that this is meaning so let's get started number 1 meaning i am going to write it down here found fault found fault so this is number 1 meaning question now i am going to write down the answer 
आंसर इज पॉइंटेड मिस्टेक्स pointed mistakes so this is number 1 i hope that you have started writing it found fault pointed mistakes this is number 1 meaning quickly write it down number 2 number 2 meaning is knocked over knocked over number 2 meaning is knocked over i hope my dear students you have started writing this knocked over answer of this is broken broken knocked over broken i hope students those who are just marking in the textbook they are doing the great job if you are marking in the textbook you have to write m besides the meaning and these all meanings are given already in your textbook in the box if you want you can also write it down in your rough notebook as i am doing it number 3 meaning is spilled spilled so please write down the question number 3 of meaning spilled and the answer is flowed over flowed over I hope my dear students you are writing the meanings properly because these are the meanings you also have to write down in your fair notebook once you are informed in your whatsapp groups number 4 meaning is number 4 meaning is settled number 4 meaning is settled so the answer is calmed the answer is calmed so when you say someone that please calm down if someone is very angry or in rush you say calm down that means you ask them to settle down you ask them to cool down So my dear students these were the four meanings in this lesson number 6 in this chapter number 6 these are the four meanings now if you will remember the hard words the pronunciation of the hard words and the meanings then to understand the lesson will be easier for you this is the reason why i always give you hard words and meanings first and the explanation in the next lecture so i am going to repeat the meanings what do you have to do you have to complete writing this and you also have to repeat after me so you and me both are going to repeat the meanings twice only four meanings are there so it will just take few minutes let's get started number 1 please repeat after me students number 1 found fault pointed mistakes once again found fault pointed mistakes number 2 knocked over broken one more time students knocked over broken number 3 spilled flowed over one more time we shall repeat it spilled flowed over number 
settled, calmed. One more time, please repeat after me. Settled, calmed. So these are the four meanings, my dear students. Now we will write give one word, and the explanation part we will complete in the next lecture. So I hope that you have written. hard words or you have marked the hard words underlined the hard words in the textbook and i hope that you also have written this meanings or marked the meanings in the textbook now later when i ask you to write down the meanings and hard words in the fair book you have to write it down but now for now your homework is to write down these hard words and meanings once in your rough notebook so this is your homework as i have written please note it down you can either note down this homework in your rough book or in your textbook but this is what you have to do today and then you have to send it to your follow up teachers you have to write down hard words and meanings in rough notebook only one time you have to write it down in your rough notebook and then you have to send it to your follow up teachers i hope that you are noting down this homework so when never we are going to do objectives or subjectives i am surely going to give the homework this way so i insist you to watch all the lectures in the sequence properly so that you don't miss out any explanation part or the objective subjective part so my dear students thank you for watching this video lecture writing hard words and meanings and keep yourself safe and keep following all the lectures in the sequence like i said also do not forget to send your work your homework to the follow up teachers regularly goodbye take care